channel everybody it is a beautiful sunday morning right now a high of 38 degrees and partly cloudy sun's popping out right now though but it, we're we're supposed to be getting into the low 51s so that is going to be a great day because the sun is going to be shining high of about 20 mile an hour winds today which means it's just the ultimate time to move cows we are going to work on electric fence because we have to move this big group of cows right here right in there right across the road to this group of cows easy peasy so uh don't mind the clutter but i got some ropes made uh maybe if you're familiar with electric fence you know that they make uh plastic pieces you wrap belling wire around it you put it on your corner post you wrap the wire through it you pull it tight and then the way you go and then when you go to pound post you either have to take the wire off and then it's so crumbled up you got to get new wire the next year you leave it on and then when you're pounding post in the ground it's just in your way right so i came out with this idea and i'm probably not the first one but that i know of i'm the first one so i got rope i put a true square knot in it so it's nice and strong and all i do is i wrap this two or three times like just make a couple loops right around the post and I use this instead of wire because it's easy to take off and then I come in here with these chain deals with these chain connectors uh, these are chain links and then like you put it in a chain then you crush it together and weld it but I use this I go right through there and I stick the wire right through and you'll see how it works but it works really really good so let's get started so this is where I'm starting out so we just gotta take a rope and all I'm doing is making a loop like that back here where the knot is it is really cold out kind of like that and then it gets caught on those knots and it's just like that now this rope's a little long so I'm gonna go ahead and go twice because I got room try and get the knot to the back so it's out of my way so it's just like that except that's a little high we'll drop down one just like that take the loop loop goes in just like that now we can tie our wire to it Whew. it is cold so a few weeks back actually probably only a week ago we had a uh, really strong winds that came down with rain that was right at freezing point so it wasn't snow and well it stuck to the wires really heavy and it bent all my posts so this whole row of post is now like that so i gotta put all these posts back in the ground Yes, I'm using a framing hammer because for some reason I have no other hammers in my pickup right now. Except for a framing hammer. But it's working. I also got the self-driving Chevy. Man, that is a really nice feature to have. I can just walk right beside it. It blocks the wind for me. And it just goes straight. Such a nice feature. So the reason I have to hit all these posts in, other than the storm blowing them over, is the ground was so hard when I put this up, but I could barely get them into the ground. And that's why they blew over so easy. But now that we had roughly an inch of moisture between the snow and the, the rain that we got, they go in a lot easier. It'll be a lot better putting in fence posts. For the record, that is not a self-driving pickup, but it is working as one right now. You know what's aggravating? Is I've had this camera on for maybe 10 minutes and my battery's already at 20%. Yeah. GoPros, tell you what, they're really starting to make me mad. This 
job is way easier with two people. But sometimes you gotta do it on your own. And the best way to do that is vice grips. So I got a vice grip holding the two together and I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to wrap it around there. But I need two hands so I'm going to set you over here again. the pressure so I got to hold on to it and then I got to angle it and that holds it in place so this was the last stretch and I pulled it tight went through here and wrapped back around like that uh, because this is where we started so that's how I do electric fence wrong or right it works for me so I can see all the cows are up here I'm gonna go check their water. Hopefully their water is almost gone, if not empty. I only filled it yesterday morning because I gotta move the tanks today. So as soon as they're empty, we're gonna move cows. So here's the shed. It's, uh, we're not done yet, not completely, but it's ended up being a lot taller than I originally had, uh, had it figured in my head, which is okay, because that just means the, the roof peak is steeper um, than originally thought, which is a good thing, because that means snow hold up will not be an issue. That's big enough for the sheep to get in here. And in time, there will be some bedding. I'll put a corn stock bale in here. And then I want to put a couple sheep pins in here, a couple five by fives. I don't know if I'll do like one side, a bunch of five by fives, or if I'll just do the back and do like three pins or four pins along the back. Haven't really decided, but that will be for lambing. So when they lamb, I can just throw them in the pen with their mom and they'll be good to go for there for a couple days kind of get the mom used to it so they have a chance to nurse and everything. So dad's up there with the tractor and the siren and the, the feet cart. And all we got to do is just go straight across the road. So this is going to be a really easy run. And uh, I just drove around the edge of the field to make sure we got them all. I'm just pushing this last bunch up there. We just gotta get them across the wire, which would be a challenge. Well, we got them across. We're gonna have to work on a few things.
before we do the long haul. But it worked pretty good, but I'm definitely gonna have to teach dad how to unload this, because when he was out there, he was in front of them. If he would have known how to do that, then all the cows would have stayed there instead of kept running. But that's okay, we got them stopped uh, before the fence line.